Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Stick around and check out how I do this awesome spatula pour. All right guys, I hope you all are having a fabulous day. Today's video, I'm using a 12 by 24 canvas and I will be using Folk Art Color Shift paints. So this one here is Aqua Flash, uh, Blue Flash, Purple Flash, and pink flash. I have used these colors quite a while ago um, and I thought why not give them a try again. I am going to be using my spatula. I'd love to do uh, flip cups on a spatula. Um, with this one I've got a couple different ones but with this one I like the way this plastic cup kind of fits right in there kind of snug um, and then I can just lift it a little bit at a time and let the paint out. All right, so I am going to start putting um, all my paints in the cup. Now I am gonna put all the brands um, and, and colors in there. I am actually layering a regular a color and then a color, um, a flash uh, color in between each one. So I had, the first color was turquoise, then I did the aqua flash, and then blue, uh, phthalo blue, and then the blue flash, and then that I think is actually prism violet. And then of course the um, purple flash, and then this one is I think quinacridone magenta from Liquitex, and then the pink flash. I usually don't use this many colors in the cup at one time, but I am going to squirt a little bit of gold down the middle. Hopefully it doesn't create too many air bubbles, but I can see some right there <laughs> anyway. All right, now all of my colors are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol, and water. And um, I've just went ahead and flipped the cup over onto the spatula. A little bit is coming out there, but that's why I like that one because the back kind of holds that in a little bit. And then um, I just go ahead and start up here towards the, towards the corner there. And then just let a little bit out at a time. I have a tendency of letting too much out. Now this, um, flip and drag here I am going to be using negative space I would definitely need more um, paint if I was just gonna cover the whole canvas so that's why I um, am stopping right there <laughs> because I didn't uh, I wanted to have negative space in uh, in this one um, a lot of times when I do that I do add like this I add some paint at the top of it let it run down to get kind of all the colors out there I don't want to really waste any and then drag it out just a little bit you can see see those natural cells that are developing because I did not use any silicone. Um, the densities helped create those natural cells. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add, uh, this is White Pearl from Folk Art. I love, love, love using White Pearl. It adds, um, you know, just a little bit, instead of just plain white, it just, it looks, to me, it um, adds a little bit, plus it's um, pearl color. So, it's uh, a little bit of shininess to it also. All right, and of course, air bubbles there. When I spread the paint out, there's always air bubbles, so it's a good idea to use a torch to get those air bubbles out. Also, I am just going to start uh, to, to move the paint around. I wanted to kind of get a feel of um, which way to go with it, uh, just because of the cells and the way the colors kind of came out of this cup um, looks really really cool so I'm um, gonna go all the way to the corner and I know that there's gonna be some negative space again that was my intention so it's working it's working out really good I like the way these cells are actually stretching out um, and I don't notice too much of the gold I didn't squirt a ton in the cup uh, just a little so that's that's good um, but you can see that I do have a spot, right, kind of one spot of gold there. Um, but sometimes it's nice to kind of take a look and see what's happening uh, with with the cells, with the um, the way the paint is going, to see what you want to do with it. So with this one, I'm going to cover, uh, go down to that corner, and then just cover up a little bit more of that. Uh, not, not have so much negative space. I'm gonna leave negative space. See right there, I think I'm debating <laughs> on what to do because I like that one corner there. And, um, and now I think I'm just gonna stretch it a bit more, pop some bubbles first. 
there um, was quite a few air bubbles from when I squirted that gold through the middle and I knew that was going to happen because that's usually what happens um, when you squeeze it from kind of up high too. Alright so I'm just going to keep running that over and you can see uh, that there are a ton of cells. It's like all covered in these huge cells that kind of spread out and again no silicone and I just wanted to uh, take a minute before I forget I have kind of something cool coming up I want you guys to stay tuned I have a kind of a exciting announcement I'm still working out some details so stay tuned I will be letting you guys know in uh, future videos what that is but I'm trying to work out iron out all the details so that you guys also get uh, the most benefit um, for your um, painting uh, supplies all right so I'm really excited about about this all right so don't forget stay tuned for future videos all right here we go on the wet photos this is really really turned out I just I'm loving these colors and I did get you can see there I got some white pearl cells pop up through there with the um, because of the white pearl that I had put around it turned out super super cool so I am really really happy with these bright colors um, and just all the cells how they how I stretched them out and they just got bigger I am really really happy and I am keeping my fingers crossed that this dries uh, just as nice as it looks wet so we will see <laughs> we will see very soon uh, if that's what happened all right and here are the dry photos again super happy with how this looks um, I hope you guys like it I like the way that this um, the color shift paint blended with the other paints let me know if you guys have used color shift paints uh, in the comments below let me know what you think of this painting as well uh, don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and please share this video all of those things really really help my channel so I do appreciate that and if you want to watch some more awesome videos click the links on the left and I'll catch you in my next video